hopefully, you know, get things bubbling back up. But it's getting a little late in the day for uh, that redevelopment. But we got plenty of present development out there. 82 degrees, a lot of moisture in the air. You can feel the humidity. That 2.74 northeast winds at 7. Feels like temperature of 88. Again, dry downtown, but it's raining off to the east and up to the north. This south of Waterloo have had numerous uh, shots of this funnel cloud coming on in. And it has now moved into northeastern Tama County. You can see this right here. This is the cell that produced that funnel. Not expecting this to go tornadic, but we've had reports of funnels out there. and Wouldn't be surprised to see a couple more over the next two hours. We'll keep an eye on things. And if they would make it down to the ground, and that's not likely, a tornado warning would be issued. But again, that's not likely. It's not that kind of situation right now. Altoona rain, Bondurant, Almond, Ankeny, but the heavier rain, Polk City off to the northwest, especially north of Granger right now. KCCI News app. Just kind of widely scattered activity. We may get a little bit more here in the metro, but not a great chance. We stay in the 70s, and then it's kind of the same scenario again tomorrow. Not everybody's going to see a storm, but if you get a storm, it's a slow mover, and you pick up that heavy rainfall. They had a whole lot of it to the north, up in Kasuth County, Humboldt County, and down and through northern Webster County. That's why there's still a flash flood warning there till 645. Rainfall amounts, look at that, up in Humboldt County, over three inches. Northwest of Iowa Falls, over three inches of rain. Here in the metro, Johnston, I got a couple reports of an inch of rain, and it took less than an hour, six tenths out at the airport. So some heavy rain as those cells move through the metro. Right now, the heaviest rain line along this boundary to the north. You can see it from Waterloo, northern Tama County, back and through Atlantic, and then storms bubbling down towards the Missouri border, and some of those producing some heavy rainfall. So future cast is so slowly taper after sunset. Morning activity tomorrow, again during the afternoon. Our computer model bringing a little bit of that right over the metro. That slides on out, and then slowly the system moves out, and we dry out with decreasing cloud cover and some beautiful weather ahead for Wednesday. Now, this is rain tracker. Don't expect this in your rain gauge exactly, but it shows you the kind of potential you could get underneath these storms, and it's painting in the heavier rain from the metro off west to Council Bluffs down towards Lamoni with lighter mounts tomorrow up in northern Iowa. Low tonight, 70 degrees, scattered storms, fog developing late, not a lot of wind. Tomorrow, 78, more scattered storms. Those dew points in the 70s, in between the storms, you'll feel all that moisture in the air. After that, it's a great long stretch of some nice weather. 80s Wednesday, sunshine Thursday, Friday in the 70s. Right now, most of the weekend looks dry. I think storms so could move in Sunday night into Monday. Highs on Saturday, 79, Sunday, 81.